How's it going everyone? Dragon Twilight here, and today we are jumping into King's Quest, Chapter 1, A Night to Remember. That's right, uh, in case you don't know King's Quest, it is, well, has been a whole series of point-and-click adventures, which if you know me, you know I love point-and-click adventures. Anywho, uh, this is actually the newest one that came out, uh, you know, kind of a re-release or whatever. <laughs> uh, but the original King's Quest, you know, good games, good point-and-click adventures, a uh, little screwy at times, but, you know, they're good. <laughs> this one, I am looking forward to. So, let's jump into it, shall we? Chapter 1, A Night to Remember, Begin. And the loading is him running, okay. Tab is inventory, huh? Alrighty. Tally ho, tally ho. And shift takes me from run to walk. Huh, you naturally run. Interesting. Well, I'll have it the other way around. Ooh. Space bar to look. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Uh, well. Got a little bit here, lower it. Okay, I gotta tap. Tap, 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 tap. Splash, splash. Okay, and I climb down the rope. Do, 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 do. I have not been back there in years. <coughs> was the last place left to look. Huh. Ooh, gold. The lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Ooh, so we're in a wishing well, huh? And a mattress. All right, a bit heavier than a mattress. I bet. Congratulations, you are weak. And a very small door. A dwarf door? No offense to dwarves up there. And an alarm system. Not good. Not good. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Ooh. Big. Kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Also, kind of a spooky pretty, but pretty. Too odd contraption was guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn upon and see what happened. Yeah, like you wouldn't do that anyway. if I turn the left switch. But since I am here to tell you this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's interesting. So hey, I failed, but I didn't really. Doop doop. What's with all the beds? Oh, it's rumbling. Rumbling isn't good. Fuck, fell. <coughs> the beds were jammed in every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. And his snoring is enough to swing the bed. That's not good. Oh, what am I coming into? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds 
hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in the story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Yeah, it's a big snoring dragon. <laughs> I thought there was supposed to be an intro or something, but I guess not. Hmm? Just jump straight. In? Oh god, wiggle wiggle wiggle. This is a very wiggly yes. wub. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth, the claws was... Fabled mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragon <coughs> You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon is the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my purse. Ooh. Dum, 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 dum. And don't you know, never wake a sleeping dragon. Oh god. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Why wouldn't it work without the handle? I mean, heck, you got all the other handles. You just gotta pull one of those instead of that one. <coughs> uh, more beds, more beds, butter churns. Oop. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles cluttered the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon. Breaking the spirit of hideous beasts. Amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about covering missing handles, though. Now there's a handle. Oh, God. Be careful with the rope. So, the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> yes, very, very clever. That's why clever is to hide. Whoop. Under the covers. <coughs> Big dragon. Oh, the poor thing's missing an eye. Never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was. I have handled though. Someone tethered with it, creating some. Okay, so I guess I must actually pull out the items. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what did I use to fix the broken thing? I used the handle that I had in my inventory. A teeny tinkling bell with the dragon, but that didn't. Uh, okay. Chains were coiled around a gigantic spot to the cave. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Yeah, that one seems to be, uh, very failed. Sneaky around, sneak around. I'll let the dragon After loose. He briefly passed to his son, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Mirror, mirror on the wall. 
Who's the craziest of them all? This guy for having to deal with the dragon. Alright, that's an interesting little trap. Dragon snoring pushes beds back and forth. Oh, no, no, no! After I was impaled by that spiky bed, I took a nap and decided the magic mirror could wait another evening before being rescued. Grandpa! Well, I thought maybe it was your bedtime. But I can continue. Alright, seeing uh, how they fail can be just as interesting as seeing how they succeed. <laughs> 